Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, thank you guys so much. I love you. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Bitsy. It is lovely to meet you. And it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel down below. I post new videos every Wednesday and every Friday. So today I'm going to show you guys kind of my natural everyday summer type of makeup look. It's that no makeup makeup type of look. This is perfect for people who are new to makeup or if you prefer to only just wear a little bit. It's very light and natural and simple. And in case you didn't already know, I always link all of the products I use in my videos in the description box down below. So go ahead and check it out if you're wondering what I'm using. But I will go ahead and show you guys and mention all of the products I use as I'm going. So before I get started with anything, I'm going to moisturize my skin. I am using the e.l.f. Happy Hydration Cream. This moisturizer feels amazing. It's relatively inexpensive. And it is so good, especially for oily or acne prone skin. It is so important to moisturize your skin always, but this really, really helps also with the whole glowy, dewy, natural type of look that we're going for today. Okay, now our skin is all nice and moisturized, and I'm going to go ahead and go in with a primer now. I'm using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. And even though I'm not going to be applying foundation over my whole face, it's still nice to have a nice, smooth base and this pro filter primer still kind of blurs your pores even when you're not putting makeup over top of it so I like to put it like rub it in nice around my t-zone. You guys ask me all the time what the difference is between a primer and a moisturizer and do you need a primer if you use moisturizer and vice versa. So a moisturizer is more so to nourish your skin and to take care of your skin you should always be wearing it whether you're wearing makeup or not. And primer is meant to be a good base for your makeup to go over top of. There are so many different types of primers. Um, I like primers that help kind of blur your pores, especially around your T-zone. That's where I have the largest, most noticeable pores. And I also suffer from a little bit of acne and scars. And so putting makeup over that doesn't always go over super smooth. Using a primer really helps create kind of a flat, nice and tacky base also for the makeup to just lay over and look flat over any kind of bumps or anything like that. So in short, yes, I do recommend using both a primer and a moisturizer when you're doing your makeup. And I get it, if you don't have the money for both of these things and primer you don't really get use out of, you don't understand what it's for, just stick to moisturizer because that is something I cannot stress enough. Moisturizing your skin is so, so important. All right, you guys, let's carry on now and I'm gonna show you guys how I do my whole base in the summer to keep it light and natural. So I'm going to be using my Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation and I'm just going to be using this little Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. So I'm going to just squirt a little bit of my foundation right on the tip of my brush like this and I have a little bit of acne scarring right around here. So I'm going to go ahead and just dot it right over any redness and then just lightly kind of blend that in. And if you want to use a beauty blender for this instead of a brush, that is totally fine. I just know... For me, I am so used to, if I have foundation on a beauty blender, I will go too hard, too fast. I'm going to cover my whole face with makeup, and that's not the look I'm going for today. So to help me try to keep it light and natural and only cover certain spots, I'm going to be going in with a little brush. So some of you who watch a lot of my videos, or even all of my videos, I love you guys and I appreciate it so much. You guys may have noticed that I haven't posted in a while. And guys, I felt like I was losing my mind because I love making makeup videos. I have so much fun just sitting here and filming and doing my makeup. And for the last two weeks, I have just felt like I had nothing to do. But out of respect for everything that's going on in the world right now, I wanted to kind of put my career and my whole makeup, everything, I wanted to take a step back with that and give everybody else the time to focus on the important things in the world right now. Now I don't want to get into it too much because I want to keep it light and fun because that is my brand and that is me. I am going to be talking about makeup and I'm just showing you guys my summer makeup routine today. But I did want to share with you guys kind of why I hadn't posted in a while. But I am so, so happy to be back and posting and filming again. I am a huge supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement and while I was away and not posting and not filming, I was taking action, I was going to protest, I was getting involved, signing petitions, donating what I could, and it was very, very empowering, and I, I took a lot of time to sit back and reflect and think about what I want to post and why I'm making these videos and what kind of impact or influence I want to have on the world, and all I want to do is just see the world become 
a little bit more of a happier, positive, more loving, and more supportive place where we can all just love each other and support each other, spread positivity. That is all I am here for. And so in this time, I sat back and I realized I need to not put my life on pause because of what's going on. If I want to sit here and say I'm going to take action, I have a voice online and I'm so grateful and thankful for that. So I'm not going to sit back in the shadows anymore. I'm coming back out. I'm still standing strong and doing my thing. I'm going to continue to post my videos every Wednesday and every Friday, make more TikTok videos, post more on Instagram, and just be a little bit more active again because I missed it and I am re-inspired and rediscovered kind of my passion for all of this and why I'm doing it. And the purpose I have here is to really just uplift and bring positivity. And I think we could all use some of that right now. All right, you guys, so back to the makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and set my whole face using my Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Pressed Powder. And I'm just gonna take a really light amount and kind of just dab that everywhere. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and load up on bronzer. I'm using my Too Faced bronzer and I'm using an Angle Morphe 405 brush. I've given you guys this tip a million times, but if you make this weird face and go, you can see your cheekbones a lot better because I have a pretty rounded face and it's hard for me to see my cheekbones sometimes, so I get it, but I can find them pretty easily whenever I kind of suck my cheeks in. And it's nice because with this angled brush, you kind of just line the angle right up with your cheekbone and you just go up and down like this. Really nice and light, and then you lightly, lightly just diffuse it and blend it out, bringing it up to your temples. I usually start out pretty light and then I go in with more if I feel the need to. But yeah, I go from my temples up to all the way around the top of my forehead. You guys, I have one big tip. If you're putting on bronzer and you're really packing it on and your skin is a lot lighter than what your bronzer is, make sure that you are blending your bronzer into your hairline because you can kind of see there's like a pale white line right here. I'm going to just blend my bronzer all the way up there just so there's no like harsh, distinct, dark to white right, right where my scalp starts. I try to blend it into my hair almost. Guys, in the summer, bronzer over foundation 100%. Bronzer just makes your skin look tan and dark. It looks like you just got sun kissed and you've been laying out all day and it helps you have that nice structure and gosh, bronzer just makes a whole look. In the summer, this is probably my favorite, favorite step. I could just throw on some bronzer, no other makeup and feel great. So bronzer is the way to go for me in the summer, 100%. And don't forget, if there is a distinct color difference between your face and your neck, like right under your chin right here, you want to check for that and you want to go ahead and blend it down and make sure that there's no harsh line and no distinct color difference. You want to blend it all the way down so it looks like you're tan all the way through. All right, you guys. So next we're going to go ahead and do blush and I'm going to be using my Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Puff. Oh shoot, that's a lot. I actually just dumped a whole ton on my cheek. Okay, so I'm going to put them on the apples of my cheek and the t kind of bridge slash tip of my nose right here. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my fingers, just little taps. I went ham with this blush, that was way too much, but you know what, it's okay, we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it out with my beauty blender just to kind of pick up a little bit of the excess because I put way too much on. And you guys, if you thought we were stopping there with blush, you would be wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and now go in with my Milani Baked Blush. And I'm going to go ahead and pack that right over top of it. This baked blush has a nice little natural shimmer, like a highlight type of shimmer to it. It is perfect to look nice and glowy in the summertime. So in the summertime, whenever I put on blush, I usually go all the way up here and then over the bridge of my nose and then back around like this. Because on those high places of your face, like if I were laying out and I got sunburnt, this is exactly where I would get sunburnt. So it, it gives the illusion that you've been outside more than you have. Instead, you're probably inside watching TikTok and YouTube videos. But girl, same, it's okay. But we're tricking them. We're gonna pretend like we've been outside tanning and doing everything all day long. So that's why I throw on this the blush where I, where I did. <laughs> All right, you guys, now we're gonna go ahead and do eyebrows. And in the summertime, I prefer to keep my eyebrows pretty natural looking compared to how I normally do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and just with a little brush, take a tiny little bit of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I am not picking up a lot of product. I'm actually barely picking up any because all I'm doing is I'm gonna underline the very front of my eyebrow and bring it forward just a little bit. 
and then same with the top just bring it forward all right and now I'm going to very very lightly just fill that front part in very very lightly too because I do still like that faded ombre type of look so I don't want to go too heavy-handed I'm going to keep it really really light and natural looking like you can see almost looks like I barely have anything done to my eyebrows which is basically what I want but you might be thinking girl they still don't really look right don't worry I know so that's whenever I come in with my Glossier brow flick I'm not very good at using this pen and making brow like flicks like what it's meant for basically but it does make it very easy to just fill in little gaps and sparse areas so that's all I'm gonna do is just kind of go through and fill in like you can see right here on my eyebrow I'm gonna go ahead and just touch that up right there and boom you can already see the difference between this eyebrow and this eyebrow brow flick makes it so quick and easy to just kind of fill in your eyebrows and make them look fuller and a little bit darker and more done like if you have thin very sparse eyebrows like myself brow flick is a great great product especially for the summertime if you just want to go light and natural and now my eyebrows look like I actually did them but it took me two seconds all right and now we are almost done we just have the eyes left and that is it so I'm going to go ahead and grab my bronzer again and I like to keep it really nice and simple and natural on the eyes especially in the summertime Sometimes I just won't even throw on anything, but today I'm going to go ahead and just pop on a little bit of bronzer. This doesn't even have to be clean or nice looking or anything. Bronzer is just a very natural way to kind of enhance your eyeballs a little bit, give them a little bit more like depth, and it looks like you tried a lot harder than you actually did. So I'm using a very big fluffy brush just to kind of like throw it all on there really nice and easy and kind of just be able to blend it out, kind of cover up my whole eyelid. And blending it out no harsh lines you can tell I'm you can't really see where I'm putting it I'm kind of just blending it all out nice and evenly but I am gonna go ahead and extend it all the way out here blending it all the way out and boom we're done that took what two seconds exactly I'm gonna take a smaller little blending brush and just throw a little bit of bronzer right underneath my eye this is the morphe m433 brush for anybody wondering but it really doesn't matter what brush you use, just throw a little bit nice and blended right underneath your lash line. So next up with the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and throw a little tiny baby wing right out in the corners. I'm not going to do full-fledged eyeliner, just a tiny little bit of a wing on, right on the corners, that's it. And I'm going to be using my Maybelline Hyper Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen. So instead of lining my whole upper lash line and then bringing out my wing, I'm going to go ahead and just start by drawing a little baby wing. And then somewhere right here, I'm going to make like this wing triangle shape all right so that's this wing and then i'm going to try to do the same thing on that eye all right so quick and easy i have my two wings and now i'm going to throw a little baby inner corner wing right on the inside see nice and simple just an outer wing and then an inner wing and there's nothing on the top or the bottom and now we're just going to go ahead and curl our lashes and pop on a little bit of mascara and guys i can't even explain how obsessed i am with doing this like wing shape like a little bit on the outside and a little inner inner corner wing because I just feel like it fully like transforms how my eyes look and I love the like cat eye look even in the summertime I don't know I like as much as I like to keep it natural and barely wear any makeup I feel like the eyeliner is such a staple in my look now that I feel like I always need to have a wing and it just like I don't know it really just amplifies the whole look 100% it makes you feel so good it makes your eyes just look so like nice and like sultry looking and pretty cat eye. I don't know. I love it. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention I am using the Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and throw on a little bit of tint water. This is the per Peri Para tint water. It will be linked in my description box down below if you want to check it out. There's a bunch of different really good lip tints, but... This is the one that I have and I really like it. I give that just one second to dry a little bit, that tint water. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw on a little bit of my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Even though I'm not going to sleep, um, this is a really, really incredible and really good smelling lip balm. I love it. It just smells like bubblegum. But it feels incredible on your lips and it, like, it looks like the most beautiful lip gloss, but... Yeah, it's just a lip balm. All right, you guys, and we are just about all finished with the makeup. Perfect. I love it. It's pretty, like, 
light and natural, but still makes you feel like you're done up and you have makeup on, you feel good. The eyeliner obviously is optional. You do not have to wear eyeliner if you don't feel like it. But for me right now, this is like my go-to eye look. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my look. I'm gonna throw on a little like head wrap, headband. Guys, it's like way too hot outside for me to even wear my hair down. So I've been throwing my hair up a lot lately. So just kind of a little messy bun, a headband, pop in some hoop earrings, maybe like a necklace or something. Oh, I have a cute necklace. Hold on. All right. You know, I love a little a little seashell choker type necklace. You know what? I love how my makeup turned out. I kind of feel like the whole fit I got going on. It makes me feel a little bit like a hippie, but you know what? It's cool. I am living. I love it. No complaints at all. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. And don't forget, I link all of the products that I use in this video in my description box down below. And while you're there, you should make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and every Friday. Once again, I am so happy to be back. I missed you guys and it is time to get the ball rolling again. So I will see you guys in my next video. All right, I'm gonna go do my thing. You guys go do yours. Maybe get off your phone and go outside, enjoy the day, but in case you don't want to, that's okay. You can just go ahead and watch my next video. <laughs> She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see.